Hello to everyone, my name is Margot Thoreau and I represent the Territorial Dialogues and Migration Units of the OECD. Using IPSOS data on perceptions of migration according to the type of area in which people live, we contributed to the Anna Lind report in Intercultural Trends with an article on how differences in perceptions illustrate the need for place-based integration policies. We chose to focus on four OECD countries, Greece, Germany, Ireland and Sweden. Results from the survey confirmed the fact that within countries, perceptions of migration vary according to the type of area in which people live. For the survey, four types of places were considered, rural area or village, small or middle-sized town, suburbs of large town or cities, and large town or city. Overall, rural residents tend to hold more negative perceptions of migration than urban residents do. To give you an example that we used in the article, in Germany, Sweden and Greece, people living in rural areas were more likely than once living in urban areas to regard cultural and religious diversity as a threat to the stability of society. In Germany, for instance, 25% of rural area respondents strongly agree with the statement that diversity can be a threat to the stability of society, compared with 16% in large towns and cities. Interestingly, uh, the survey results also seem to reinforce previous OECD research that found the share of foreign born in a location to be positively correlated with migrants' perceived contribution to the local economy. So these results nurtured the idea that having more occasions to interact with people from different cultural backgrounds brings people closer. All these data illustrate the need for policymakers to implement integration policies and communication strategies that reflect the fact that their citizens will hold different values and perceive integration policies differently according to where they live on the territory. This place-based approach is even more important now that the COVID-19 crisis has disproportionately harmed some vulnerable groups, among which migrants, but also some territories where positive public opinions regarding immigrants risk being shaken. This crisis brought into sharp relief just how much OECD countries depend on migrants. While countries were on lockdown, migrants were, of course, uh, at the front line of core activities and filling in pressing labor gaps, notably in the health and agricultural sectors. Overall, when countries will start to rebuild their economy, effective integration measures will represent lever for recovery. In this context, it is crucial to monitor differences in local perception, notably through surveys like the one uh, Anna Lint and Ipsos did, in order to best reduce intergroup conflicts through the promotion of adequate place-based integration policies.